It's your girl, Anna Marie. Ooh, my eyebrows. Come on, walking around like that all day. Anyway, it's your girl, Anna Marie. So I'm here with another video. Um, today is actually going to be a cooking vlog. It's going to be a food vlog. Um, I'm going to cook dinner. I'm starving. And um, I'm having still hit trout, okay? Um, I know I'm going to have a salad. I have some rice. Um, I did cook a sauce probably like a few days ago. So I might add that sauce. Um, it's a white sauce with spinach, uh, tomatoes. It has shrimp in it to get rid of that. And that might be my dinner. Y'all, I'm ready to eat, okay? So <laughs> let's get cooking. All right, you guys. So I am first gonna pour me a glass of wine. Tonight's wine is going to be Pinot Grigio, courtesy of Aldi's. Nothing fancy, just a cheap glass. And um, since I'm having fish, I decided to go with white wine. So for my starter, I'm just gonna make me a chef salad. This is spring mix. And then I'm gonna add a little cucumbers, chopped cucumbers to it. I'm gonna add a little red onions. You guys, I love onions. I don't know why, but I love them so much. So I have extra. I'm gonna add a little shredded cheese to it. Gotta have my cheese. And I'm gonna add a little pepper for a little flavor. And once I have my salad together, I'm going to add salad dressing. And you guys, this is my homemade vinaigrette. I love this. Something simple yet healthy, but it is a great vinaigrette for a dressing. So much flavor and is lightweight. Okay, so now that we got our first course out the way, it's time for us to cook the main course, which is still head trout. I am going to keep it simple for this meal because I'm going to be using a sauce to cover it. So I'm just going to add a little olive oil front and back to the still head trout so that when it cooks on the grill, um, it is seasoned well and does not stick. Once my still head trout is covered with olive oil, I'm just going to add a little salt and pepper for flavoring to my piece of meat. All right, you guys, so I'm eating my food. I want you to know it's delicious. Like, it's restaurant quality, y'all. I be throwing down in the kitchen. I love food. I love cooking. Um, I do want to get more into um, organic, natural cooking. Like, I do a lot of sauces. I do a lot of stuff. But, no, I want to make it where I'm not using dairy. I'm really using organic food. 
and um i'm super duper excited for the challenge because i'm gonna tell y'all this i want to challenge myself to eat food for two weeks i know that may sound crazy but when i say food i mean like actual food no fast food nothing processed like actual food like fruits vegetables like i'm cooking it i know exactly what's in it i cooked with olive oil salt pepper like stuff like that on a natural level i don't want to say plant-based because i'm gonna have fish but on that level like plant-based with fish um i'm excited to try i think it'll be a great challenge for me i will feel great feel amazing but whew, you guys i am um excited about that also um i do have a, another youtube channel i started you guys i realize i tend to do that like i'll start stuff uh, pause it but it's there and i'll come back to it so just like this channel my cooking channel gonna be like that too so i have a channel called cooking for millennials and so just teaching literally the bare minimum the basics like if you didn't have your grandma there your mom there to teach you about cooking and you just like hey i want to learn how to cook or you need to learn how to cook for survival and you just like i want to uh learn how to do this and so that's pretty much what that channel is going to be about like let's talk about seasonings let's talk about how to cut up an onion like it is so basic and so um that is what I plan on doing. But I just want to talk to you guys. I am um, currently watching this Kenya Moore um, interview with Carlos King. If you don't know who Kenya Moore is, you live in a rock. But Kenya Moore um, currently is known for her role as a housewife on Real Housewives of Atlanta. However, her resume is long. But she was very big in the 90s. Um, she was the second black excuse me, Miss, Miss USA. I think Vanessa Williams was the first one and she was the second one. And she was an actress, so she did a lot of things. It was a lot of small roles, but she did a lot of um, acting. She was a producer. She has a uh, hair care line. So she actually has a lengthy resume. She's not, um, you know, just a housewife. So you can't knock her for, you know, you can't, not acknowledge her past but like i said right now she's known for um being a real housewives on um the atlanta franchise and then she has a hair care line king more hair care and so um she's having this interview with carlos king and she's talking about how pretty much real housewives in atlanta is changing and we all know that we all seen if you're a true real house of atlanta fan you all seen the changes. You saw, what was it? I think it was that Bolo season, probably two seasons ago, where they tried to change the dynamics. Y'all, that was horrible. Uh, <laughs> that was horrible. And you can tell by um, how things are produced, the feedback. Like, Real House of Atlanta is not Real House of Atlanta, okay? Now, I do feel overall, I'm about to go on the rant, okay? I do feel overall that... <clears throat> with the housewives the production is getting away from the original meaning of housewives so if you're not sure what that looks like or what it was back in the day when they first started this 14 15 16 17 years ago um it literally was about women who live behind the pearly gates you live this lavish lifestyle and you they followed them like what does that look like it, you used to see a lot of uh <clears throat> individual storylines meaning oh we're seeing her work or we're seeing her pick up her kids or her scene with her kids and blah 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 so you saw a lot of that but now everything is solely focused on the people that are on the show so <clears throat> i don't know if y'all noticed this but <laughs> i'm just saying i'll be paying attention to this everything now is a group scene so it's all about going to dinners um or uh, two cast members linking up going to lunch now they're doing more trips and so it's like hey let's put them in a the house or let's take them on a trip where it's just them and you're not seeing um 
the Red Housewives lives. And now they may tape it. They really may tape their how their lives, but we're not seeing it. We are not seeing it. And so like um on this interview, Kenya is talking about how, you know, hey, we taped this, we did this, or you're starting to realize this person's story is being um shown more than this person. And I feel bad because If you really watching this season, he and I get no love. Like, I want to say there was a uh, post on Twitter where the cast took a group picture at her salon and her opening her salon. Y'all, the finale next week. I don't think we're going to see this line. I'm just saying. So, I think that Kenya is starting to realize that her time is up when there's a shift. And you can tell in this um, interview, she don't like how she being treated. And many management, typically that's how it goes. They'll either make you feel uncomfortable or when they realize, oh, you're not really asset. They'll kind of push you out make it uncomfortable for you to be pushed out. But um, I'm curious on what Kenya gonna do. If you really think about it, um, what is she gonna do? She have Kenya more hair care. I'm not sure how well that's going in the sense of, is it enough to make up for her Real House of Atlanta money? Um, is she going to use her own production company to Maybe do her own show, do a vlog or something like that. Um, but I just feel as though she had to figure it out. She she has to figure she has to figure it out. You can tell through the interview she's not happy. One thing I do like about Kenya is certain interviews she will be a hundred percent honest. Like she would say no, behind the scenes this is what happened and production this and she'll say her thoughts. Um, but I don't know. I'm curious on what she has planned. The sad part is she works in an industry that um, is literally cutthroat. If you no longer is a service to us, you're gone. And um, I think she's starting to realize that. And so I'm curious on what Kenya Moore is going to do next. But I find this interview very, very, very interesting. So I'm just curious on what your thoughts on the interview, if you actually watch it with Carlos King. But I want to thank you all for cooking with me, having dinner. Uh, I know I probably took two bites. Y'all don't understand. I recorded my thoughts on this probably like two or three times. So um, I'm almost full. And that's why I'm not eating as much. <laughs> but it's okay. Um, plus, I, I don't think it's polite to talk while you're chewing. So, um, that's why I was just taking bites in between. But I'm just curious on what y'all think about Kenya in this interview. Leave your comments below. Do you think she'll be there next season? Do you think that the producers uh, don't like her because she's not treating them well? And what do you think she have possibly up her sleeve for her next chapter in her life? Y'all, like and subscribe. I will see y'all in the next video.